I'm Gerald Monane. I'm sitting in the room where I do most of my writing. Well, I'm a tidy person to look at. You can see the tidiness of this room. There's not a thing out of place. And in, those, in the filing cabinets around me, everything's catalogued in its right order. But my mind is untidy, and one thing struggles against the other. I've never been someone who's been terribly interested in the visual arts, so I'm not a collector of paintings. I think it concentrates my mind. I find it easier not to be distracted. I find it easier to concentrate on the task in hand if I haven't got too much to look at around me. And I even pull these curtains closed if the light's too bright and turn on the desk light even in the middle of the day. That's my working atmosphere, is to feel myself um, enclosed from the world, removed from the world for the time being. You look in vain for any sort of uh, computers or um, electronic equipment in this room. The most advanced uh, technological equipment, I think, is the 1965 Remington Monarch typewriter. Typing with one or two fingers on a typewriter seems to me to match perfectly the speed at which my thoughts work when I'm writing. And I live in dread of one breaking down, uh, and so I keep two for emergencies. I call this my literary archive. There are ten drawers. Each of them contains all the material that went into the making of one or another of my books. But at the back, you'll find untidy handwritten pages. At the front, you'll find a file copy of the finished book and even all the reviews and the comments. This is part of what I call my chronological archive. Um, we just happened to have opened one of 19 drawers that we could have opened. And then I've been a great writer of letters to people and people write letters to me. And there must be, I, I couldn't count them, there'd be many thousands of letters in those, uh, in those cabinets. The equivalent for me of email is the little box of envelopes up there. All my life I've been fascinated with things Hungarian and it's one of my greatest achievements that I learnt the language. So every morning I spend 30 minutes reading aloud from children's books to help my pronunciation. This is, a, is one of 30 bags and each of the 30 bags contains about 500 tickets. On the one side, I wrote a sentence or a word in English. On the other side, I wrote the Hungarian equivalent of that sentence or that word, all handmade by myself. And don't ask me where I found the time to do it. I just can't believe that I did it. When I played racing games as a horse racing games as a boy, um, I used um, sometimes marbles and sometimes out in the backyard pebbles. And the pebbles you see there are pebble racehorses uh, eternally lined up for the beginning of a race, uh, which will take them flying through the window and out into the, the front garden. This room, to me, is an unimaginable luxury compared with what I used to have. All I had was the ironing board. Um, that, to me, was uh, enough space uh, to write in those days. I can't believe now that I wrote three books uh, at the ironing board. I like to be aware of it to remind myself of how hard I've worked in the past. Well, it's a violin, I call it my fiddle. Um, I play it um, quite often, but only when no one can hear me. So I won't be doing a demonstration for you. I think I live more in a, in a kind of a daydream world than I do in the actual world. Mind you, I'm a very practical person. My bills get paid on time, and I've looked after the practical side of life, but I do that as fast and as efficiently as I can so that I can get back to the, the world that I feel more comfortable in, which is the world of the imagination.